getting a concealer, so I'm gonna get this. this one. They only have nude and beige, so nude it is. today's video I'm gonna be doing a very requested video that I have been asked to do I actually did a poll on my Instagram go follow my Instagram if you want to be in the part of what videos I make and what you guys would like to see and I did a poll and I did a couple of them and the two that were tied was the morning routine and the $20 makeup challenge the morning routine one, but I'm also going to be doing the $20 makeup challenge for you guys since you guys really wanted to see that. I went to the Dollar Tree and I went to Walmart. I was originally going to just go to Walmart and be like, you know what, you know, the dollar store makeup's really cheap. I don't really want to uh, cheat a little bit and get all dollar store makeup because it is a $20 makeup challenge so I can get about like 19 pieces of makeup, which is, you know, pretty standard. So I said, you know what, let's go to Walmart. So we went to Walmart, me and my boyfriend, and everything there was actually expensive. Elf, 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 literally everything is like $3 now. Like didn't it used to be a dollar? Uh, you need to lower your prices, Elf. Um, even the cheap stuff that is not even that good made is still $3. Uh, no. So, whatever. So, I said, you know what? I'm going to get nothing out of this. And this is basically a challenge to show how much you can do and how good of a look you can make with $20. Some people don't have yeah. a lot of money to spend on makeup. And some things from the dollar store are actually pretty good to use. So, if you guys want to see how this tutorial turns out, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I got nothing on my face. I got no primer, no fat, no moisturizer, no nothing. So basically, what I'm gonna be doing to start is foundation. So they didn't have any primer, so I didn't get it because I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get the e.l.f. one because you know that was cheap, six dollars. Um, that is like almost half of uh, what the twenty dollar makeup challenge is. So um, yeah. No. I got this bag right here. This is from the Dollar Tree and I got some proof with um, some receipts. I'm gonna put how much right here on this side of the corner, how much I spent and all that. So basically I got most of the things from the Dollar Tree and then I got one thing from Walmart because they didn't have it at Dollar Tree and I still had some money left over. So basically I have this receipt from the Dollar Tree and I have this receipt from Walmart. So let's see. So I spent $14.88 at the Dollar Tree, but that was because I bought a towel. Um, you can see I'm not lying to you. It says towel. So basically everything up to here is all a dollar. So I basically spent $13.88 on all of it. 
So let's put a little calculator right here. So I'm out of math, so I had to just put it on my phone a little bit. 1974, I spent in total. So I still have 26 cents left over. And you know with this economy these days, you ain't getting nothing for 26 cents. So I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, so I gotta open all these she's. Would you guys like my backdrop too? I've been trying to be a little bit more YouTuber-ish. I gotta get a new backdrop because this one is a little reflective and it has lots of creases and stuff, but Okay, so first we're gonna start with foundation. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit more. Hey boys. So for foundation, I got this um, Sassy Chic Moisturizing Foundation, and I got this one in medium because they had a light one, but um, it looked a little bit too pale. So I just gotta open this up. All right, so I have this foundation, so I'm just gonna take it. And I'm using all my brushes because honestly, this was not gonna get no brushes for everything for $20, even if I did go to Dollar Tree. They don't got no brushes there. They got like a few of them, but you know how that's gonna work. So, I am using my Morphe sponge that I always use. So, I'm using this and I'm putting this right on the back of my hand. First impression, it's a little thick. It don't move off your hand, it don't move. So what I'm going to be doing is just taking it on the back of my hand. This thing is so thick, it better have coverage. Oh, it's a pretty decent match. Ooh. This coverage is not bad. See, I'm probably going to break out after, so you bet your butt I'm taking all this off right after this. Not bad. I am impressed. This stuff is not bad. I mean, you can feel it on your face, but honestly, if that's the only downfall, this stuff is not that bad, especially if you need especially if you need like something cheap to just use. I mean, like this stuff is not bad. Like you can't see my I mean, the pores I have like right over here. They're a little bit maximized. Other than that, it covered like all of the redness I had underneath my nose. I have a pimple on my nose, like some bumpiness over here. It covered it. Wow, not bad. I'm impressed, Dollar Tree. Yes, honey. Okay, so next I got a concealer, which I'm actually surprised that they had a Dollar Tree. And it's the LA Colors Concealer, and this is in the shade Nude. Um, this is probably gonna be like the same color as my foundation, but what you gonna do? It was this one or beige or something like that. There's only like two shades. All right, so this is the little concealer. I'm just gonna be opening it up. It has a little bit of a scent. It's not really that chemically though, I'm surprised. Oh no, this is uh, very streaky, but we're gonna make do. Oh, my eyes for an eye primer too. See, yeah, that kind of like took off mm, the foundation like on my eyelids a little bit, but it's all right, it's okay. We have one bad product so far, even though we had just did two. Now I got powder, so they had like three different or two different powders, they had no loose powder. So I just have to use a pressed powder, which is completely fine. So this is the LA Colors pressed powder, and this is in the color beige. They had like two or three shades. It comes with like this little cheap powder puff. Like, uh, look how thin that is. It's like a little pizza pie. That's going in the garbage. So, oh, yeah, that's flimsy AF. Yeah. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna take it on like a flat foundation brush and see if that does anything. Okay, so I got some pigment off, so I'm just gonna like dust it underneath my eyes. Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad. It's really mattifying though, but honestly, it's not that bad. This is not bad. This is not going too bad so far. I am surprised. 
I'm okay with it though. Um, this don't close, but okay. So next, um, we'll do contour. So they actually had a cream contour at the Dollar Tree, and I don't even know why I keep calling it the Dollar Tree because I always call it the Dollar Store, but. I guess for them folks don't, that don't live in Boston, Massachusetts, or anywhere around there, they call it Dollar Tree, so I don't know. They actually had a cream contour, if I can find it. Here we go. So this is the contour stick by LA Colors, and this is um, in the shade medium. They had like cocoa and something else, but this one's like a better shade for me, I think. So since I didn't put powder on like this area over here, I'm gonna be using that. So it looks like this, and I'm just gonna be putting a little bit up. Ooh, the shade's not bad. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. And then we're gonna put a couple lines on this side of my face, and we're gonna do a little bit on my chin. And I'm just going to take the Damp Beauty Blender mm. I feel like this is like coming off completely This stuff is not coming off that bad Yeah, that kind of like just like went away totally But Not bad Alright, so now to set that bronzer, the only one they had, so they had like a powder that was not um, like shimmery like this one, but I was like, you know what, let's do with a little bit of like a dewy look. So this is the LA Color Powder Blush and Brush Applicator, and this is in the color Bronze. So uh, this comes with a little applicator brush, um, you betcha but I'm not using that. So I'm just going to use my big fluffy brush that I usually use with bronzer and I'm just going to tap into that. Okay. Why is this stuff actually not that bad? Like if you use it the right way, you can use it pretty good. I'm surprised, shocked. I thought I was going to look like a grease ball or something after this, but honestly, I'm okay with it. Okay, so next we have blush. So this is the LA Color Powder Blush and Bra Blush and Brush Applicator. This is in pink. They had a whole bunch of different shades. I was like, but I want to go for something a little bit uh, natural because we are going to be doing a red lip and I know I have a pink background but <laughs> this is what you new YouTubers do we only have two backgrounds and neither neither of them would match and this one was iron so <laughs> so we're going to be using this uh, blush here and then just with this little angle brush I'm just going to be taking that oh a little bit of fallout but what you're going to do Can you guys see a difference? Because I can't. A little bit. Oh, oh. It's a little chalky, but okay. Okay. Hopefully my camera don't die because it's about to die. All right. So now for um, uh, eyebrows. Um, I got this pencil. Comes with two. <laughs> double uh, eyebrow pencils and sharpener. So it comes with a sharpen sharpener, which is great. So this is in the shade dark brown because they didn't have black. I mean, all they had was black and dark brown. So I'm like, I even found this. I'm such a good YouTuber, just like, when I'm trying to talk. Okay, so let's see if they come sharpened, which they do. So this this baby thing, so we're just gonna do with what we can. I'll zoom you in a little. This is extremely creamy and it's not really in our favor. I'm going very light handed because this stuff is super creamy and pigmented. Is using a spoolie cheating? I might have to. I 
I might have to bend the rules a little and just use a little bit of a spoolie. I mean, that's kind of a brush, right? Oh, okay, it's a little bit better with the spoolie. Okay, well, I have a bold brow today. Okay, so now for highlighter. Uh, they didn't have the highlight at the Dollar Tree, so that's why I went to Walmart and I had to get a highlighter. Cheapest one I could find was the e.l.f. one, if I can find it. So this is the e.l.f. baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls, and this was $4. So I think these ones are the highlighters that you need to scrape off a little, and then it'll become something. So let's do that. Alright, so I just scraped off a little bit with my uh, back of my makeup brush. And then I'm just going to be taking my highlight brush that I usually use. And I'm going to dip into that. Oh, some fallout. I just scraped it off. Honey! I don't have any product on this brush. What? This is $4. Can you guys see that? Okay. Okay, Elf. I see you. I see you. All right, so now we're going to be doing um, eyeshadow. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. And first, I'm going to show you what I got. So I got this Color Mate eyeshadow. And this is in Garden Party. I guess that's what the palette's called. Looks like this. I wanted to get something with like a little bit of color in it just in case I wanted to like, you know, do a little bit of color. Okay, so all these colors are shimmery and so is my bronzer. So I have basically no crease color. I'm stupid because I should have bought the bronzer that wasn't shimmery, but that's Kirsten for you. I'm just going to be using this Morphe M441 brush. So I'm going to be using, uh, oh. These things we ain't using, so. I'm gonna use this dark shade right here. Ooh, that's dark. Okay, so we're gonna start with, ooh. Okay, pigment. Hopefully this blends. So I'm just gonna be using that in the outer corner. Blend it out. Okay, this is not blending bad. No fallout. Okay, so now that we're done with the outer corner, I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M330 brush. And I'm going to take this lighter brown shade right here. And I'm going to put that right in the beginning. And I'm going to take the shade next to it and the one next to it. So I'm basically taking all these three shades right here. And I'm just going to put it in the front. And with smaller brush, I'm just going to be taking that same color we used for the crease. And I'm going to put it underneath my eye. It's actually like it's not that bad like I'm I'm actually like okay with it and then with like a baby brush I'm gonna take the highlighter and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner and on my brow bone then I'm excited because I forgot I bought this this is the wet and wild um, intense sparkly glitter and this is in the color brass so cute I love it I love it I love it We'll see if this is nice and waxy. All right, so I'm gonna go in here with like a baby brush because I don't know how this is gonna be. And I'm just gonna go in there with like a baby brush and it's like one of those from like Claire's with like this stuff on it, but I'm just gonna put it on. Okay. Why is this actually not bad? Like why is all this stuff actually like stuff that I would use? Okay, so then I'm just gonna be using my eyelash curler and I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. And, no, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself here. I bought so much stuff, I don't even know what I bought. I'm gonna try to do a winged liner. So this is the LA Colors one in liquid eyeliner, in liquid eyeliner. This is in black. 
Okay, so we're gonna try to do a wing. See how this is gonna go. I haven't done a wing in so long. Two hours later. Looks a little not even. A little, uh, a little ugly, a little thick. All right, so I bought a mascara. This is Wet n Wild Full Healthy Lashes Soy Protein Enriched. So this is in the shade Very Black. So I just got this at the Dollar Tree. Oh, I already curled my lashes because I did that before by accident. So, ooh, this wand is long. I mean, it worked, but I don't recommend this. It smells like Play-Doh. And I got these lashes. They had like a whole bunch. They have like the cheap e.l.f. ones, but I just got these Colormate ones because Chris said that they looked extravagant. So I got these Colormate wand. It comes with actually adhesive gel. So they look like this. So I'm just going to be applying these, it's really boring to watch, so I'm going to apply them and then I'll be right back to do the lips. Alright, so I'm back with my eyelashes on. The lashes aren't that bad, the adhesive sucks, do not get the, do not use the adhesive if you end up doing buying these. Glitter that I got from Wet n Wild, um, you can use this alone but you're better off using like a sparkle on top of it because it's sticky and it moves around crazily. And this liquid eyeliner sucks because as soon as I touched it with my finger, it came completely off. Like literally from this adhesive, I don't know if it's the adhesive, but all of this, it's off right underneath where I put the adhesive with the eyelashes. I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's just the adhesive or if it's really the eyeliner, but that's the tea. So now for lips. I got this LA Colors Lip Duo Gloss and Lipstick, so this is an Eternal Flame. So I'm going to use the, lip, the lipstick first and then I'm going to use the lip gloss. It smells like cherries! Ooh, It smells like cherries. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the lipstick. I'm not using a lip liner because I didn't buy one. Well, I guess this does match the background because it's pink. I thought this was going to be some Ruby Woo type of color from MAC. Oh, I know why, because this is Ruby Woo color. But, um, yeah, no. It's like a neon pinkish watermelon color. Still pretty, but not what I was going for. Gonna put the gloss over it kind of disappointed with that all right guys so this is the finished look I'm not mad at it the only things that were a little bit iffy iffy were the eyelash adhesive this glitter stuff the liner and lips weren't the right color but everything else actually the face, I'm like obsessed. Like this was less than $20. Like I'm not mad at it. If you guys liked this tutorial, if you guys liked this challenge, please thumbs up the video and please subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys so much and I really hope you guys like the new videos that I'm making and like my background, everything. I'm trying to do a little bit more being a nice YouTuber. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.